This recording will show you some of the basics of using Sway. So if you have an office account, an education account, any um, paid for Office 365 account, you'll log into your account and you'll see these icons and Sway should be here. If Sway is not here, then you'll need to contact your administrator of your Office 365 where you work or at yeah, your school and have them add this icon and allow you to use Sway. Um, if you are on personal, you can log into your Outlook account and then you click on um, the little icon up here and you're going to see Sway. You can also go to Sway.com and then it will prompt you to log into your Microsoft account or create one if you don't have one yet already. So when you um, open up Sway, it's going to look like here. You're going to notice there's a create new there's create new up here, there are tutorials which is very handy, and then in the triple dot up here there's create new, there's help, and this is where your name is. You can um, sign out and switch to another account if wanted. Um, also up here you're going to see that that's how you can get back to all your different office applications. Um, if you don't want to be in Sway anymore you can switch to Word or, or whatever. So you can create new, start from a topic, or start from a document. If you start from a document, you can upload a Word document or a PowerPoint. Remember, things with pictures are going to be a little more effective, but you can start with a Word document, for example, especially if it's in outline mode, um, or if you've used headings and subheadings, it really makes a sharp-looking document for you, a nice way. Um, you can add the photos later. I'm going to click on Create New and show you the bells and whistles of creating a new one. Okay, so this is going to be your title slide. And you'll notice that you can emphasize, you can add accents, you can add hyperlinks, you can change the background um, with your title. And you can search right in here if you prefer. You can also upload pictures from your own device or from your OneDrive. So um, however you want to find an image that you would use for your background. So if you click on it, then you click Add. You'll notice that it's automatically choosing from the Creative Commons. That means that these are free and um, uh, to use without um, paying money or getting copyright permission from an individual. If you wanted to uncheck that, you have to remember that you are going to have some copyright issues. Okay, so here's my um, first sway. If I'm done with the suggestions, I just click the X in the corner and um, I'm back here. This plus sign, Oh, let's just go ahead and add emphasis to the word title. The plus sign inserts different items. Make sure that you click on each one of these because you're going to be required to use most of the items in here. There's um, grid, comparison, stack, slideshow, media, insert video, audio, use an embed code, insert an image, or do text or a heading. So lots of different things underneath these. And each one creates a new slide or even a slide slide deck. Notice that you can upload from your computer to anything, a PDF, um, whatever you have on your computer already. Um, I'll click on video and I can search for videos in here or I can just pick one and I can drag and drop or I can click on it and click add whichever way I want to do that. I'll put an emphasis and I can type some information about my video. Notice I've got bullets, numbering, I can set the emphasis on this card to moderate or I can really emphasize it as intense, I can do lots of different things. And I just keep adding to my stack. A stack will be um, lots of different images. So I can select multiple images to my stack. And again, I can emphasize or accent any of these. I can add hyperlinks, um, whatever I, I like to my card. Remember, when you're done inserting, click the little X over here, and it will take you 
back to your sway. Notice up here that I'm in storyline mode. I can click on design and take a look at different styles up here that I can apply to my sway. Do I want it vertical, horizontal? Do I want traditional slides? And I can choose some different themes and of course I could customize my theme as well. So try out your different modes here and Again, click the X over here if you are finished designing your slide, and you can always go back to Storyline. Notice that you can rearrange your slides in different orders by clicking and dragging. When you're done, you'll notice there's a play and a share. So if you want to play it, it will walk you through what your sway will look like. You can hit your arrow keys to move forward and back. Notice the flip for the stack. So if you had more than one item, it would flip through there. You can play your videos, all of those different things. Hit the escape key. will take you back out. And then you can click on share. And here's your link that anyone can view. If you want to let other people edit your sway, let's say that several of you went on a trip together and you all wanted to add your own slides, you can click on edit. And then the link would be viewable. You can also get an embed code to embed this into a web page, for example, and um, post to any social media that you might have. You can also require a password to view or edit. Let's say that students were in this and you didn't want it out on the web, but you wanted parents to be able to see it. You could give the parents the password. Um, and of course, you can also take these down at any time. So hope that helped you get started with Sway.